All right, uh, Shalom, before I start, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakhak Rosh, to one of the elders and apostles, Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, walk, walking, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, and now this video is going to be a response to something I got off the comment board based off the video I did yesterday. All right, I was dealing with an article that I came across from The Guardian talking about a person who said that you know he I, I guess he found himself being halfway sarcastic but he halfway wasn't but he had made this suggestion that you should be able to watch children lewd acts online and it shouldn't be a, a it shouldn't be a punishable crime you know because hey, this man Esau Edom he's a a debauched bitch faggot <laughs> hey straight up you know he just he just not right so as I, I touted it is the Romans want to legalize children friendships you know I titled it like that so it wouldn't get snatched so I, I was basically just dealing with that you know covering that topic how in that in this society what they're pushing towards is being able to have open relationships with pre pubescent children that being the key term pre pubescent meaning before puberty before your body has physically matured and you are capable of sex and reproduction and so what we have here is a scoffer all right, I think I've seen this this uh, shithead around before. Maxwell Brits, they put this question down. It says, maybe you want to leave religion out since Mary was like 12 when she had the Lord while being engaged to an old man. All right, so we're going to get into it. Because over here at Great Millstone, unlike at other camps, unlike, uh, unlike Tazariac, unlike uh, whoever the hell, we're not ashamed of the gospel. All right. So yes, Mary was a young woman that got engaged and had a sexual act with an older man to produce the Lord. All right, but was she underage? No, she was of she was of biblical, lawful sex and birthing age. All right, otherwise she would not have even been given up. So that I can end the video right there. But we gon' we gon' we gonna get some scriptures. All right, ain't, ain't ain't no shame in our game over here. All right, I don't have a fat, there There ain't no big fat nigga with shades on telling me what I can and can't say. All right, there ain't a, a, a tall nigga with goat hair, all right, who like to wear purple that tells me what I can and can't say. Over here at Great Millstone, we can speak the 100% truth. That's the beauty of the Harachachurash, of the Holy Spirit. All right, we don't have to cover up the gospel uh, in case it makes us feel any type of weirdo way. All right, now in 2021, would you normally give your 12-year-old daughter up to an older man because her cycle came in? No, all right? You know, you'd be, you have a, a, a bazooka in one hand and a, and a motherfucking uh, chainsaw on the other, you know? But we're going we're gonna to get into it. So let's see. Uh, now, and it says, it's actually, it works out perfect. Somebody underneath had put down the definition for the word pederasty. It says, is a sexual relationship between an adult man and a pubescent or adolescent boy. The term pederasty is primarily used to refer to historical practices of certain cultures, particularly ancient Greece and Rome. So this definition lays it down, all right? This is something that the Greeks and Romans used to do. The men would get down with young boys, which is entirely wrong, entirely wicked, all right? So now let's, let's get this, all right, since he... But let's get this. He wanted to make it, make the accusation. Let's see what uh what the scholars have to say. All right, right here. Uh, just straight up off of Google, it says uh, since the scriptures do not explicitly discuss this question, no one is certain of the answer. At one time, Joseph was assumed to be er elderly when he married Mary. However, now they believe that Mary and Joseph were both in their teens when the Lord was born, around 16 and 18 respectively. And that and that's them trying to cover it up now because of this new punk ass society so they got 50 percent of it right all right joseph was most likely all right an elderly man he could have been in his upper 20s mid 30s 32 35 or touching his 40s you know could have been 40 some and mary more than likely was in her younger years all right because unlike now you you don't wait until you until you turn 35 to 40 to have a baby when you've already had a hundred penises bounced off your forehead and your womb is no longer as strong as it used to be. Let's get that. All right. Women were having babies basically, you know, very early on because back then you didn't have doctors that could keep you alive. You needed to hurry up and have children because there was a great chance that it, 
uh, more than likely giving birth at an older age that has a fucking death sentence. You will, you would have died trying to push that baby out. So you needed to give birth while that womb was strong and young. All right, let's get that real quick. Right here. Uh, I'll start at 52. Oh, yep, because this is what we're dealing with now. Second edge is five, and 52 it says, "Say unto her, wherefore are, wherefore are unto they." Whom thou hast now brought forth like those that were before, but less of stature. And she shall answer thee, that they, that Slakia, they that be born in the strength of youth are of one fashion, and they that are born in the time of age when the womb faileth are otherwise. So giving children, giving birth to children when you are young is more optimal because the body is 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 better, it's fresher, it's healthier, it's newer. You haven't uh, under normal circumstances you weren't supposed to have a hundred penises dribbled off your forehead. All right, you weren't, to, you weren't supposed to have spent years and decades eating bad foods, building up cancer in your body, all right, poor eyesight. The older, the longer you wait to have children, the worse genetic potential you're going to be passing down to them, all right? So when you have them younger, you have a stronger body. You should have a better diet, all right? All your body parts are working properly. You give birth to a healthier, stronger child, all right? And as the decades have passed, humanity has gotten weaker and weaker. Verse 54 says, Consider thou therefore also how that ye are of less stature than those that were before you. All right, because why humanity is getting weaker and weaker through sin. So all of us are not on the same physical strength, all right, as the humans of old used to be. All right, and especially, you know, hey, my parents had me when they was very young. Uh, but my, uh, you know, the children that are born, I say for brothers, you know, you're, you know anybody they parents was uh, had their children when they was in their 30s 40s those children not in all you know there's always there'd be exceptions to the rule you know them be some little short you know might have many problems down syndrome skin uh, uh what's that one on the skin when your skin's fucked up uh damn y'all know what i'm talking about they be having to put screen uh cr cream on your skin uh eczema all right you know so more than likely she was very young, all right. I've seen between. I'm see if I can find. It. I've seen between twelve, and uh, I've seen between twelve and sixteen. Let me see. Okay, right here, it says while unproven, some apocryphal accounts state that the time of her betrothal to Joseph was, uh, to to Joseph Mary was twelve through fourteen years old, according to the ancient Jewish custom. Mary could have been betrothed at twelve, so she could have been uh set up to get married at 12 it says uh, Hypolitis of Thebe says that Mary lived for 11 years after the death of her son Yahushai dying in 41 AD alright so she was very young so if, if the case was that she was 12 alright then that's fine and dandy alright but because we understand what this scripture right here hey I, I just happened I thought I had pulled, pulled it up in the last video that video I did yep 1 Corinthians 7 36. Hey, ultimately, what the Lord says trumps our feelings and it trumps you scoffers. So you scoffers can kick rocks for all I'm concerned. That person left that comment. You can go find a tall cliff and you can uh, see if you can beat gravity down to the bottom of it. All right. 1 Corinthians 7 and 36. It says, but if any man think that he behaveth himself uncomely towards his virgin, uh, if she pass the flower of her age and need so require, let him do that. Let him do what he will. He sinneth not let them marry so it is lawful as long as she is her body has uh physically matured all right by way of the period now once again in today's society is that a normal thing no because they have laws on that so you will go to jail and we teach you know to to not do that all right that's not as it says uh uncomely in this verse i want to get that word real quick it's like it for all the background noise. These motherfuckers <laughs> out here playing with their Tonka trucks. All right, let me see. Behaveth himself uncomely. Let's see. Let's see this word. It looks like a es es escamonio, Greek G eight hundred and seven. To be unbecoming, behave self uncomingly. So you know, it hey, it it'll look odd to act unbecomely. It, hey, some hey, it would look odd. You know, an older man. What is young woman? You know, hey, it shit, it stand out. It's gonna stand out, but as long as she has passed that age, everything is fine according to the biblical law. But what we have is this sissy bitch society. 
this sissy bitch society in America where you're told to play the field and desecrate your fucking body with weenies. <laughs> weenies to the forehead, weenies to the eye, weenies all across the cheekbone, all right? Weenie, weenies in every direction that you can catch one. That's why that person made that comment. Because they're used to catching weenies until they turn 30 and then wanting to get married to one weenie and then expecting it to work out and it doesn't because you can't pair bond because you've taken too many weenies. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see. I wanted to get, okay, flower of the age, hypercomos. Let's see what it says. Beyond the bloom or prime of life, overripe, plump and ripe, as so in great danger of defilement of a virgin. Let's see if it gets into specific. In the base of the beyond the acme, figuratively, figuratively of a daughter past the bloom, prime of youth. What's that bloom? That period. All right. So if she's come across that, then it's fine and dandy. All right. But you know, now, like I said in the video from the other day, when she's a fresh 12, would you want to go catch her fresh 12? No, you might wait a minute. You know, you might wait till she's 16. All right. Let her body fill out, let her train her up in the household. I'll get this. Uh, let's get this. Let's get this out of uh, Esther. Right here. Ezra uh, 7 and... Oh, damn. Wait a minute. Salakia. Uh, let me see. Salakia, y'all. Hold up. Okay, right here. We may do this custom. Esther 2 and 12. It says, now when every every maid's turn was to, was come to go into King Ahasuerus, after that she had been twelve months according to the manner of the woman, for so were the days of the of their purifications accomplished, to wit, six months with oil of myrrh, and six months with sweet odors, and with other things for the purifying of the women. So it was a kingly custom, you know, to, before you would bring your woman to, you know, you're the king, you're the man. You can have, before you would bring your woman to, you, you spent she was brought up in the arts of of femininity and spent a year bathing in one oil and bathing in another oil all right you best believe a hey, learning proper et etiquette learning how to dress you learning how to cook and clean learning how to serve this is how we used to get down so you may have went to a man okay look uh or a man may come to you hey look I, this is my 12 year old daughter i don't want her ripping and running with these young bulls in the streets all right these niggas out here Whacking each other with swords in the middle of Jerusalem. <laughs> Acting a bunch of damn fools. You know, damn choking niggas out with their garments <laughs> to the death. You know, I see you. You know, you're you you, you you're a good working man. you a, 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 she a shepherd. You know, you don't be all about that bullshit. This is my daughter. She's 12. I'll marry her off to you. You know, you'll take her. You may wait. You know, you got her four years training up. Learning how to do this. Learning how to do that. Then you take her unto you. You would have took her unto you. Hey, 14, 15, 16, 17, whenever you felt the fuck like. But as we just read that scripture uh, in 1 Corinthians 7 and 36, explained it to her. You're not going off, and that doesn't make you wicked for doing so. All right, let me see. All right, so coming back to this comment that he left. left all right, it says, maybe you want to leave religion out since Mary was like 12 when she had the Lord while being engaged to an old man. You know, so this goes to show you these people in the world, they're, uh, they have their emotions and their butthole are intertwined you know so they get butt hurt they don't know how to you know they can't they can't separate whenever you say something to these sissies you know they start bleeding out of out of certain area <laughs> you know they they pants start turning fucking red all right these people are soft and weak so you know that's crazy you know they got a problem with that but you don't got no problem with bombs being dropped on kids you don't got no problem with little babies being chopped up and sucked out all right you don't got no baby you know problem with uh, 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 you know, telling a nigga to, oh, you went through slavery. That wasn't me. That was my ancestors. Get over it. Don't talk to me about it. All right. But you can't accept the realities of a man and a woman. You know, you people are full of shit. But hey, once again, over here, we're not ashamed of the gospel. So let me get this. Hey, we don't get offended. Uh, is is what is gonna get us to this kingdom, y'all? So we can't be offended. Matthew eleven. And six, it says, and blessed is he who whosoever shall not be offended in me. That's right. All right, we can't be offended in no parts of this word. All right, now I had mentioned to Zariac earlier because that video just came out with him and Saw Netter dealing with uh, does the Heavenly Father make a person gay? And the short answer is yes, the Heavenly Father 
allows a person to be given up to wicked spirits. If the Heavenly Father does not put up the holy angels round about you to keep you and to cover your mind, body, and spirit and soul, then wicked satanic spirit, spirits can be allowed to take over you and make you do things that you ought not. All right. Which is what, uh, uh, you know, the elder uh, Yashwamba from Dallas was going in on it. All right. You know, so that's about it. I just want to do a response to that, to that whole ass, uh, you know, uh, just a, just a, uh, a, a, a bitch, you know, Maxwell, if you're seeing this, you know, a, uh, cure yourself slow, you know, for all the congregation to see. All right. So I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakurash, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the like, Akim, Wakwathing, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. I'm going to say Shalom.